I'm Brennan Burns. I'm the Chief Hunting Officer at Kuyu, and uh, I'm pretty excited to be here. This is a cool opportunity. I, I've known Greg for a number of years now, and when you get no guys in the industry, you always like threaten to hunt together. Or, Boy, it'd be cool if you could hunt together, but we all got one fall. And... Greg said, hey, you want to come up on the bison hunt? And, you know, bison are one of these things where we just, in the lower 48, you just don't get a lot of opportunity to do this. And this is more like a muskox hunt for me. Uh, so it's, you know, super cold wintertime testing gear. I haven't done a ton of wintertime camping in these kind of conditions. And uh, yeah, just get out and see some new country. You know, never been up in this area. I've hunted in the Yukon before, but not in this area. I've never seen a bison in the Yukon, so it's gonna be cool. I'll hopefully watch Greg kill a giant and have a good time doing it and learn some more. I live in Montana, I live in the West. There's remote and then there's the Yukon remote. Like we're going in looking at the map yesterday, like it's gonna be pretty damn remote. <laughs> like, so thanks for inviting me in. We'll see you in the end. <laughs> It was minus 26 or something yesterday morning. And now today you can feel like it's minus five to 10. Like that warm south wind is moving in. And warm south wind, like we're in the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's a medium south wind at best, but. We're starting to get back into the country where I know that they are. Trying to pull the binoculars out and just keep scanning. We've come across a little bit of sign. There's a big set of tracks running right down the center of that mountain right there. See that wind split kind of open spot yep. there? Frame up the whole storyboard as I saved the hunt by spotting the bison tracks. Well, from a long distance. I think that that would be completely appropriate <laughs> if they were bison tracks. What are you think they're lynx or something? <laughs> they're not, they're not bison, aren't they? They're too close together. Follow me. We're gonna get up high, up onto plateau. There's some lakes and stuff up there. We're gonna move through that country. Really dark, seemed really, really dark. Like right, right through these trees right in front of us. I mean, there's only one place you can see snow through these trees. Far, far ridge, down yeah. low. There's a bull bison standing. Oh, down in the valley, dude. Yeah, that's a buffalo. Sure yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty excited, first buffalo there. Good job. I think they're gonna come through. Do you have any bait? Uh, chocolate bars. Yeah. They love chocolate bars. <laughs> they do. The main advantage I see you guys have to us as a country is coffee crisp. It's certainly one of them. It's a hell of a candy bar. We are you making it down that, huh? No, I think it's gonna be a few miles back and try to figure this out. Cause the only way down into that drainage is not here. And it does not appear that it's back that way either. And the bison are that way. So we're not going that way. We're going that way. There's bison in here. Let's go find them. Let's go get them. As you can see, things have changed a little bit. Typical Yukon weather. Shed hunting's big down your way. That's a dark caribou horn though. That's fresh, that one. <laughs> so we're just continuously making our way down into the, this drainage that I wanted to get into. Like right now. Look at that. It's, but it's just been after the snow. He didn't blow them out of here. They were coming this way. Cause this is old, this is cold. They're definitely going this way. They were just here. I don't think we blew them out of here though. There's just that fresh snow on any of the tracks. We're in the right spot, buddy. Smelled them, heard them. They tend to like to go uphill. When they're spooked. See those four pine trees? Yeah. Look to the right of those. Those four on that ridge that stand out. I'll be damn, yeah. The old buffalo hump, huh? <laughs> Man, that thing is big. that's bigger than what I was looking for. Could be just a lone bull. He's still pretty far away. Yeah, we're not gonna get on him before it gets dark, that's for sure, huh? No. That light is gonna go down behind that hill here in the next literally five minutes. 
I think we should just find a place to camp for the night and not push our way in here. I think that would be a mistake. How far are we from the nearest road? It's about 80 kilometers. I always tell people, like, you just don't understand how remote this place is. I love coming up to the north. We'll get some today. I was actually surprised how little fuel there is yesterday. Yeah. See something down there? And way on the far hill back there is one feeding up. He's walking. And... Long ways away back there. I've locked up the title of worst snow machiner on this trip. Nobody can take it away from me. It's, it's official, the MVP of worst rider. <laughs> There's probably not many scenarios in the hunting world where you find yourself in the amateur category. But I did spot a bison way down there, so <laughs> making it up in the hunting realm. I prefer that you can spot. The only way I'm getting to that bison is if you walk without you driving. <laughs> We're getting there and you're driving. We're just gonna take our time, be super slow and quiet, that's the key. Try not to pin it. Burns has said that uh, he figures this is 118 to 120, 2,300 pounds on the hoof. So if that's the case, we'll take a look at him. He's pretty close, I about five miles away. <laughs> <laughs> There's three things that we'll get that by. So we have the ability, we have the intent, and we have the means. As long as we have the time, we will get there. You got the time. I may not have the ability to get there on a snow machine. That's what the time part is. <laughs> that could be our boy. It could be him. He's the one. Yeah, he was huge on it. And he's weighty all the way out there. <laughs> he looks big. All right. Can we not get up there? Not with a machine. Yeah. If we walk right up that spine, see the spine with the least amount of uh, snow on it? That's a really good bull up there. And Burns spotted him way back where. Well, he is the size of a <laughs> dinosaur, so. <laughs> Just take the credit, brother. <laughs> well, now we're getting fast at it. We're gonna have to climb a pretty big mountain, get up on top, and then hopefully pop over on him. Hey buddy, let's do it. Okay, let's go guys. It's that big heavy curl and weighty right out to the end. That's the sign of a big old bull, and you can get a good bull that is younger, that has you know that length of shiny horn on him, but he's typically not gonna be that heavy. 